what's up y'all so it's been a minute so i recently just bought myself a tesla a tesla model 3 in fact um so recently just uh, sold my rav4 and my tesla model 3 should be coming in this wednesday march 15th um so yeah looking forward to that but yeah i wanted to use today's video to just kind of go over my thought process of why i bought the vehicle so i should actually preface this that i recently had a, another model 3 um, but that was involved in an accident in no fault to my own and i made the decision of getting a rav4 um, my parents are both toyota fans and i originally had a camry um, before that tesla and a highlander before that camry um, so I'm no stranger to uh, Toyota products and, um, you know, some qualities that they offer uh, when it comes to their vehicles. When I first got my original Tesla, um, I loved that experience, even though, you know, with some of the things that uh, Tesla comes with when it comes to Elon or, you know, whatever the case may be, build quality with some of their vehicles um, as an overall experience. I really um, enjoyed that Tesla experience that you get. So, you know, of course that comes with the supercharging network that comes with how you don't have to deal with uh, typical dealership BS, um, as well as just enjoying the new um, EV experience as a whole. Um, you know, com obviously coming from, of course, a typical combustion vehicle and um yeah like it's it's just a very new experience for me and i really enjoyed it um but i bought that rav4 some because i thought you know i would uh like the utility aspect but i just can't get over the fact that how life-changing uh having an electric vehicle is um even though I only had the previous Tesla for about a month's time. Now, you could say that I could have gotten the Tesla Model Y, and yes, while that is true, that is slightly um, out of my budget range, um, so I do have to make do with the uh, Model 3 again. And um, in case I've preferenced this before, it is a Model 3 uh, standard range, so the rear-wheel drive version with the LFP battery. Once again, I'm... Um, getting that Tesla uh, this Wednesday, uh, March 15th, and I'm really uh, looking forward to it. Um, never thought I would actually consider getting a Tesla um, in the first place. I actually thought EVs, um, maybe like some other people, I thought EVs were not efficient um, time-wise. Um, but of course, if you have an area where you can charge your vehicle, uh, nightly, I think it's a great way to uh, avoid the gas station and also save up um, some money as well. Um, since you're not gassing and so you're just using electricity and electricity is cheaper compared to gas. The configuration I have the Model 3 in is the white exterior with the 18 inch aero wheels and black uh, interior trim. Um, I do know that has that uh, wood trim that's kind of like across uh, the dash. Uh, I am thinking about maybe covering that up with some, I don't know, it's like some uh, other fake trim or maybe like some carbon dash uh, trim. Uh, but we'll see once we uh, officially get the vehicle. I will be checking out the quality of this Model 3. As some of you guys might know, Tesla build quality is Sometimes questionable. Um, there are very uh, mixed batches um, from what I've seen on the channel and as well as um, from my personal vehicle. I am kind of sad that the vehicle no longer has um, ultrasonic sensors um, to help determine how close the vehicle is to uh, a given object. But um, hopefully Tesla Vision will come soon and rectify that. But um, yeah, just already looking forward to getting my Tesla uh, this week and just wanted to kind of explain my thought process 
of um, you know what I was kind of looking for and what kind of brought me here. Um, sorry it's been a while, and I uh, hope to catch you guys on delivery day. Thanks for joining.